so what are we building? A um, Yeah, so this is one of our cages that we made already, and we're going to paint today, right? Are we going to paint today? Yes. And we also have scissors. We might make some grass on this part, so we'll show you that too. I and then we the might make some fences using these and I a little bit of yarn. Face. So first we're going to paint. Uh, Juju's painting some water on our zoo. What lives in the water? And I, uh, dolphins. Dolphins at the zoo? Yeah. And yeah. fish. fish. Fish, yeah. Milo, what are you coloring? I'm going to color what? You're going to make red? Yes, I'm okay. I don't know. What might live where it's red? Uh, where? Does that maybe where the red what panda lives? Red? Yes, I'm going to make a cave for a bear. A cave? Ooh, a cave for a bear, maybe? A cave for a big, giant, lots of bears. Okay. Lion. Juju's adding some grass to her habitat. What about where lions live? What color is the gra the area that the lions live on? <gasps> An polar elephant. Polar bear. Or, well, polar bears live where it's white and snowy, right? Yeah. Do we I'm need to make, make part no. white? I'm going to make no bear. Okay, but what about like an elephant or this? What does the savanna look like? Like in Africa where it's really dry? Yellow. Where lions live? Brown. Is it yellow? Milo, should we do some yellow parts? I color my baby stove. Okay. Milo said he wants to make a bear. Oh, fill him in. A big black bear? Yeah, one okay, one so there's his body. Let's give him a head. Can you give him a little circle head up top, like right here? Oh, awesome. And bears have how many arms? Uh, two. Two arms and two legs, right? Yes, two legs. Okay, what about over here? Can you give him two legs over here? Is that his, that's his back. Oh, then we have to put two more legs, though, down here. Good. What about bear's tail? Feel like a bear's tail? Oh, I love the tail. Good job, Milo. I got it. Thumb goes in the little hole, fingers in the big <laughs> hole. Friends, we're going to cut like this. You see how your paper is folded? You're only going to cut little strips up to the folded part, okay? You so, Milo. Nope, not that one. Flip your fingers. So, we're going to cut up. Just to the dotted line, okay? Little strips to make them look like grass. Yeah, Milo, just like that. All the way to the fold. Juju, here. Ready? Turn your arm. Open. We're going to cut, cut, cut. I can't do cut, it. Cut, cut, cut. Stop. I got two at once. Cut, cut, cut. I got two at once, cut, Mommy. Cut, cut, cut. Open, shut. Okay? No. So just like that. That's great, you're gonna do little pieces, but now when you get to the folded line, just stop because now it'll be little little um, frayed grass. Milo, can you show me your grass? Good. I love it, you're cutting small, small, small. Juju, don't do that. Julia did her Good. grass, look how cool your grass is, Juju. Good job. Okay, okay. Milo's making teeny tiny grass. I made a little bit longer grass, but if you just cut to the folded line, that way, when you glue it on to your zoo, it'll pop up like that. You can fold it to pop it up, and then your animals can live where there's grass. Parents, if your kids are at the snipping stage, this is also a great idea to just snip some grass. And then, Jules, we can glue this on in our prairie or on our zoo over there. Just some piles of grass. All right, so now, Milo, yeah, you want to make a fence, right, with some, some ribbon. So we have our green ribbon over here just backup ribbon you can use yarn you can use pipe cleaners whatever and then I poked some holes in here Milo you see my holes so you're gonna try and put the string through the holes okay start with the end yep and put it through the hole and then your other hand is gonna have to help it through pull it through and get it through the other side of the hole This is a really great lacing activity too for those of you working on lacing. You can use beads to lace, um, like little pony beads, buttons with holes in them, or something kind of like this. And we're going to make this uh, like a fence for our visitors at the zoo.
Okay guys, so what we realized with this is we did it kind of my turn, your turn, because Milo could get it through where I poked the hole, but getting it back out was a little tougher um, because the scissors I poked in instead of out. Um, so keep that in mind that if your child can't do it or can do only one part, maybe do a my turn, your turn, and that way you're taking turns um, and then you do the outside part, parents. All right, and we're gonna make this into our fence when our uh, zoo is all dry and ready to go. Thanks for watching.